Hi there, it's Rob from OnStage Lighting. Welcome to another one of our Vectorworks Spotlight tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at producing uh, drawings in a slightly different way to we have in pre previous tutorials uh, using sheet layers. So when you use uh, sheet layers in Vectorworks, or, or kind of we'll just call them sheets for now, what you're doing is you're creating a final drawing um, so you can lay up a, an entire drawing with as many uh, bits of data or as many different parts of a drawing or sections or cutaways that, uh, that you want for a particular drawing. So you're effectively creating something ready to print and present. In order to do that you need to understand how to create different viewports. Uh, viewports are what creates the cuts uh, from your either your 3D model or your 2D drawing um, and you're presenting basically different parts of the same model or drawing uh, using these sheets. So let's flick over to Vectorworks then. So what I've got here in my Vectorworks is a drawing that I've created earlier. It's of a, uh, a little sort of theatre space with some seating and some bars. It's kind of a studio theatre space. It's got some lanterns and some lantern data on it. Now when we've looked at um, drawings in uh, previous tutorials, what I advise you to do was to draw in the scale you wanted to draw at uh, on a piece of paper, this grey line here, uh, that you wanted to print out. So you created what was called in Vectorworks a design layer that basically, or a number of design layers, that basically fitted onto this sheet of paper here, which in this case is an A3 piece of paper. This, this box is A3 and uh, the scale on my active layer plane is 1 to 50. Now what I'm going to show you is I've actually drawn this um, in 3D so I'm going to show you that it's drawn in 3D so if you've watched the uh, drawing in 3D tutorial you'll know that one of the things I need to do is I'll need to set uh, it to unified view so all the layers lock together. Now you notice when I've clicked unified view the piece of paper on my design layer the grey box goes away and that's kind of uh, uh, that's interesting because uh, what we want to forget about now is uh, we forget about the, the A3 piece of paper that we drew these design layers onto because that piece of paper doesn't really matter to us anymore because what we're going to do is create a sheet layer based on uh, on any drawing, any part of the drawing. So if I just show you in right isometric you can see here that my drawing is in 3D so it's actually a model, some lanterns, some bars, a bit of a venue and stuff like that. If, you, if I look at the front view we can see there's a front view there, a couple of performers on stage, and you can see uh, the seating arrangement. Uh, again, a left view. Again, you can see the front of uh, the, the front uh, of the performers facing front, and also the seating and stuff. So you can see it's a genuine three D three D model. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a sheet layer, which is a sheet basically, which I'm going to print out um, to to give to my crew and stuff. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go down to my Sheet Layers tab, which is in the Navigation Browser. It's the third tab along, um, and I've got, I've got a few sheets here. So if I click on these sheets here to activate them, you can see what I've done. This uh, sheet here is uh, my theatre with my dimensions on it. Um, I've also created a sheet with some text um, and some other sheets here, like this one, for example, which is one I was um, using to, uh, to teach a session with. So I've already created some sheets, but what I want to do is I want to create a new one. So we can just click on New uh, on the little arrow, and we can give it a sheet number or whatever. I'm just going to call it Test Sheet, and I'm going to leave the title as it is. I'm going to hit make sure edit properties after creation is selected so that I can show you what I'm going to do. And the main thing for my sheet is I'm going to print it at 72 dpi and I'm going to create a size. Um, let's call it an A3 sheet. Uh, and you can remember if you go to printer setup, you can also choose a landscape portrait. All of those things that you can um, you can choose within Vectorworks. So it's got an A3 sheet. OK. Now that's what that's created now, as you can see, with the printable boundary round here, it's created me an A3 sheet, a blank A3 sheet. What I need to do is I'm going to go back to my drawing to cut a piece out, so that I can put it onto this sheet. So if I go back to my design layer, now in order to see my design layer I need to activate it again, so I'm going to go to this layer 2 and activate layer 2, which is what we were looking at earlier. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around this entire plan view because I want to cut out uh, this whole view and put it onto my sheet layer. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now just so that you can see what's underneath, I'm going to make sure it's got no fill. I'm going to draw a rectangle out and you can see there's a rectangle around my thing. Now while I've got that selected, I'm going to drop 
down view and create viewport. Remember I said viewports were the things that uh, uh, were, were used to insert into sheet layers which are different parts of the drawing. I'm going to give it a name um, thrust plan view um, and I'm going to add it to a sheet uh, that I can either add it to a new sheet or I can add it to a, uh, a sheet that I've already got and I'm going to add it to my test sheet. Now what I can also do in this box is I can also se select the layers that are in view I can also select the classes that are in view, so I could show different parts of my drawing. Um, I can set the scale, uh, in this case is uh, 1 to 50. I can set the, the sort of view type, so whether it be a, um, a plan view or whether it be a 3D view. I can also set things like the render type, so at the moment I'm just going to go for wireframe 2D plan. OK, so that's all good. Now what that's done is that if I go back to my sheet test sheet, you can see... I've, it's basically taking me straight through the test sheet and you can see there there's my theatre here. Now I can put this, I can move this around I can pick it up and put it somewhere on my sheet. Now what I want to do next is I want to create a, a front view or a side view, a section view and so that works slightly differently. Um, so I'm going to go back to my design layer again I'm going to activate the design layer and then I'm going to try and create a cut uh, of my theatre. In order to do that, rather than drawing a box and creating a viewport out of it, I need to drop down view and create and hit create section viewport, which basically gives me a viewport along a plane. Now I can give myself a plane to look at and I can change the direction of the viewing plane and I can also change how deep it is. Now I'm going to set this like uh, set it up fairly basically because actually I'm going to change it in a minute but I can call it a section so I'll call it side view uh, thrust and I'm going to add it to my test sheet which is the one we're doing uh, you could do lots of other um, lots of other things you can change the scale of it you can change the render type um, I suggest you have a bit of a play around with that but I'm going to go for dashed hidden line um, and then I'm going to uh, just say OK. There's other things here you can set in the section properties, uh, but I'm going to go OK. Now what that's doing is it's creating me a cut through along this line of my theatre into a viewport, which is going to put on the sheet layer. And while that's just rendering out, you can see it's created a box on my sheet layer. Now it doesn't show me, it, you can see stuff's there, but what you can't see is the fact that there's a big box in the way, and we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is rather than create a cut through, uh, which is something that you can do to create um, a, a cut through of a, an engineering model or whatever like that. I'm going to go back to my th um, thrust plane and I'm going to just select this cut and then looking in the object info browser I'm going to change what type of uh, view it is. So I'm going to change it from section to elevation and then hopefully that will show you, look it's not got a depth to it and it, it basically shows, shows all the way through. I can move it across like this um, and then with any luck, when we go back to our sheet layer, we'll see that it's changed somehow because it's got striped lines around it. So that's great. What that means is I need to update it. So having selected it, I can hit update. And there we are. So what you're looking at there is you're looking at, you can see the dashed line is stuff that's um, inside of the venue. So you can see there's the, the main line is the venue um, and the dash stuff is, uh, is, is what's beyond the wall. So the good thing about the options within these uh, particular viewports is if I for instance select classes I can actually turn off the visibility on my venue. So I can make it disappear and then after I've obviously update my uh, viewport again and you can see my venues disappeared. So what I've got here is I've got one crop of the, the entire plan view um, with a box around it because I created that particular box um, in the, uh, on the design layer and I've also got a side view here with, um, with uh, no venue because I've made the venue class disappear. In order to change this crop on this particular viewport I can right click on it, I'm going to edit crop, it takes me back to this particular um, inside this particular viewport crop and it says here exit viewport crop and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to change it so that there's no uh, no line around the outside so that makes the line disappear exit 
and now you can see my uh, theatre there uh, now, now has no line around it. So if you want to change the crop in size or it, uh, change the attributes of the crop, you can um, you can hit that. Now you can do the same thing here with this viewport um, with sections and stuff uh, for side views and sections and elevations uh, and also with this uh, this particular way of doing things so you can create a draw a box around stuff you can also create a 3D view. So what I can do is I can drop to my right isometric I could draw a box around it I can make my box um, have no line and also I'll make it see through so you can see through what we're doing and then I can do create viewport I can then add it to the test sheet which it is and I'll call this perspective i set leave all the settings as they are and now you can see I've got a perspective drawing that I can put into my Now what I could do, of course, is I could change that to be a 1 to 100, so I could make it smaller. And that's cool. So I've got a 1 to 100 perspective. Now what you can also do is you can annotate this drawing. So you can draw, uh, put a title block and all sorts of things, and you could also put include worksheets on there, so you could include your dimmer hookup and stuff like that in this sheet, because effectively all you're doing is making an entire sheet uh, of things to be able to print out of any data that you have within Vectorworks. What you can also do is you could not only do that, but you can also annotate the, uh, with dimensions. So rather than creating the dimensions on your design layers, you can put the dimensions on your sheet layer. Now the key to that is, is that if you draw dimensions on a sheet layer, you'll find that it doesn't necessarily behave the way you expect it to. So if I go back to my um, top view, top plan, I'm going to do a little close up here. I'm going to cut away a close up of this seat. So I'm going to do my uh, rectangle around the seat. I'm going to create a viewport and I'm going to just call it seat and I'm going to put it onto my test sheet again and I'm going to this time I'm going to do it 1 to uh, 25 to make it nice and big. Now you see you can see here this is going to be my uh, this is my close-up as it were of a seat. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to actually add some uh, dimensions to that. So if I go to my unconstrained, uh, my constrained uh, linear dimension, I want to put a dimension in for the width of the seat. Now if I do this, you can see there it says 21 millimeters. Now the reason for that is that I've put my dimension onto the sheet layer and sheet layers are always in one to one. So the actual sheet itself is always in one to one. So what I need to do in order to do that, in order to add my uh, my size in the correct scale, is I need to select the actual viewport I want to annotate. I can then right click on it and go edit annotations. And what that does is it takes me directly into the viewport and you can see the scale has changed to one to 25. So I can then put my dimension in And my dimension is correct in the scale. Now, of course, I can exit out of that viewport, and you can see there I've created a sheet which has got a lot of different viewports on it. I could add a title. If you look down into the tool sets here um, where your dimensions are, you could add a sheet border. Um, you can also write things directly uh, onto the sheet, or you can add your title block or whatever. But the main thing is, is that you're able to use parts of the main design layers um, to create a sort of a layup like this. So this one here has a plan view in 1 to 50, a side view in 1 to 50, an elevation a, a perspective view at 1 to 100, and then at 1 to 25 it has a, um, a close-up of a particular part of the thing. So this is where you create your sort of nice final drawing for printing. So if you want to draw your theatre plan and your lighting plan and everything else, um, nicely and present it beautifully, probably the best thing to do is to uh, create sheet layers in order to print out your work and present different views of your 3D model um, all in one place. Hopefully you found that useful. Take care and I'll see you again soon.